Welcome back to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to sew this pleated shoulder cow kaftan with tight waist and front slit as you can see right here. So this kaftan is really very beautiful. So if this is what you want to learn in this class, I will encourage you to stay till the end of this tutorial to learn more. So to begin this tutorial, you need three and a half yards of silk fabric. Fabric is silk, yardage is three and a half. So this three and a half yards right now, as you can see, I'm going to put the three and a half yards into two. So I'm just bringing them together. Then I'm going to make a fold at this edge. Okay, so that is the folded part. So I'm going to pick up that folded part right now and I'm going to place it, meet it up with the other folded part. So after that is done, you can see my center front and my center back. So the upper part is the shoulder line and the shoulder line does not have any seam. So it's just folded. So that is the center front and center back now. So we are going to take our vertical measurements from the shoulder area so make sure you arrange your fabric very nicely as well i'm going to take our vertical measurements right away and i'm going to place my tape on the shoulder line so the first vertical measurement i'm taking is my hip line so my hip line is at 29 inches i'm going to make a mark at 29 inches after that is done i'm going to take so I'm trying to highlight the line right there. So from that line, I'm going to take my the full length of this gown. So my full length for my gown is actually 59 inches, but I'm going to add one inch to it, making it 60 inches. So at that 60 inches now, I'm going to create my line at 60 inches, as you can see. I believe my chalk is a little bit visible. So at the 60 inches, I'm highlighting my line right there. That is the full length of this gown. So now we'll go over to the shoulder line and we are going to create our neckline. So the neckline width is 2.5 inches. So measure 2.5 inches. Then I'm going to mark neckline depth at one inch. That is for the back. So I'm going to connect my neckline for the back right now from 1 inch to 2.5. I'm going to measure the neckline depth at 9 inches. So I'll just go ahead and mark 9 inches. And from that 9 inches, I'm going to come in by 1 inch. So once you come in by 1 inch, I'm going to connect with my straight ruler from that 1 inch to the neckline of 2.5 so i'm going to connect right away so that is the front neckline so i'm trying to highlight it so if you are not seeing my chalk just follow my hands okay so that is the back neckline at 2.5 by 1 inch so the next i'm going to take from the center front center back now is my shoulder divide by 2 my shoulder divide by 2 is 7.5 and i've marked 7.5 from that 7.5, I'm going to measure the pleating allowance at 6 inches. So just go ahead and mark pleating allowance of 6 inches from the shoulder divided by 2. Then I'm going to mark my sleeve at 13 inches. Okay. Then I'm going to add 1 inch. 1 inch, which is 14 inches for hemming the sleeve. So I'm going to... On the sleeve area now, I'm going to place my tape and I'm going to measure 9 inches. Measure 9 inches from that area and that will be the sleeve opening. So I'm going to also make a straight line to connect the sleeve to the 9 inches. Okay, so just make a straight line at that point. Then from that point, I'm going to go in a little bit by one inch. Just go in by one inch from the nine inches and connect a horizontal line as well. 
so from that point of one inch we are going to keep it at that point then go over to the hip line so on the hip line i'm going to place my tape at the center front center back line and i'm going to measure my hip circumference divide by four my hip circumference divide by four i have 12 inches then i'll add four inches to it so if i add four inches to it that becomes my hip with allowance and seam allowance so i'll measure everything i have on that line i have 16 inches and i'll take that 16 inches to the hem so my fabric is actually wobbling so to the hem i'll place my tape at the center front center back and measure 16 inches again so from that point of 16 inches i'm going to rule a straight line from the hem connecting to the hip so here i've connected it to the hip so at my hip line i'll come down by three inches for my cow connection at the hip line i'll come down by three inches so i'll just mark three inches at that point you can also connect to your hip anyway if you want you can come down by three inches as well so i'm going to connect my cow connection from that three inches of course you know how to curve your cow connection so just go ahead and curve the cow as you can see just take it like that like that till we get to the one inch so once you get to the one inch just go ahead and curve it straight so you can see the curve right now just give that part a very beautiful curve so after that we'll now come over to the front where we have the one inch and we are going to measure from that nine inches we are going to measure one one inch from that nine inches and measuring one one inch from that point to the hem and i'll connect it with a straight line that part we are going to cut it off and that is where our front strip is going to be so i will connect the one one inch with my straight through right now just go ahead and connect it up to the nine inches line so i'll keep connecting till the nine inches line so once I get to the 9 inches line, I will highlight the line. I just want to highlight it for you to see from the neckline to the 9 inches, then 1 inch down. And I'm going to take that 1 inch to the hem as well. So I'll just mark that line to the hem at 1 1 inch. So I'm making sure that I have it at exactly 1 inch. So make sure it's exactly at 1 inch so here we are done right now so the next thing now is to cut out the back neckline and cut out from the sleeve to the cow connection so i'm cutting right now as you can see so i want you to follow how i'm cutting that part so i'm cutting all the way from the sleeve and i'm going to go into the cow I'm going to cut out the back neckline as well so I will cut out the one inch back neckline okay so here I'm going to place a notch at the shoulder lines for both of them because that will help us to cut out the front piece as well so this is the shape of what we have for your cow so this is how the dress is going to look like after cutting so we'll go over to the to cut out the front neckline right now so for the front neckline i'm going to hold for the front neckline that is my back neckline so i'm going to hold the shoulder seam where i notched right now so take off your pins and hold the shoulder seams where you notched 
hold them at that edge and open up open it up like this matching the notch to notch together on the shoulder line we are trying to arrange it very well so you will be able to cut out the front neckline so i will secure it with my pin at that shoulder line where i notch and i'm going to cut from the shoulder into the one inch so that is exactly what i'm doing now so you'll be following the my curtains right away so i'm cutting from that front neckline into the nine inches and from there i'm going to cut one one inch from there to the hem So after cutting out the one inch line, we will come over to that uh, nine inches and place a notch at it. Okay, so make sure you place your notch at it. So after that, we are going to highlight the shoulder line. You know, there is no seam, we don't have any seam, so just go ahead and create that line because we'll be using the shoulder line. We'll be using it to create the pleating so the you can see i've highlighted the that part i used my dress form tape to hold it down right there so make sure it's straight as you can see so after highlighting the shoulder i will come over to and place my tape 2.5 inches that was our neckline so place your tape at that 2.5 and measure your shoulder divide by 2 which is 7.5 so just measure your shoulder mine is 7.5 so from that point i'm going to measure 6 inches which is the pleating allowance so at that six inches i'll get the midpoint of it which is three inches so please highlight that midpoint very well that is the point of the pleat so you can see me ruling that line this line is very important so i'm doing this on the wrong side of this dress okay so mark on the wrong side of this dress so after highlighting the line from the shoulder i'm going to measure my waistline so my waistline is 17 inches i will mark it at that point and then extend my line to that 17 inches i will come over to the other side on the shoulder as well and i'm going to also place my tape and measure 17 inches so in total i have 34 inches from the other side of the waist to the other side of the waist as well so i'll pick up that line you can see me holding on to that line so just hold on to that line and go over to your ironing table to create a crease line so i'm going to create a crease line on that line from the shoulder line to the hem line so you can see me on the ironing table now so I'll just go ahead and hold on to that line I marked and I'm going to iron to create a crease line. So make sure the crease line is visible. Make sure it's very, very visible. So I will keep ironing from the shoulder to the hem, arranging it and following the crease line. So this crease line is very, very important because that is what is going to form the pleating for us. So I will keep following the line. So as I'm ironing, I'm arranging it up to the point of the hem. So I'll just take my time and iron till I get to the end of the hem. So I'll iron from the shoulder to the front hem. And I'll also repeat the same ironing from the shoulder to the back hem. 
I believe you understand my explanation. So this is the front seam right now. So I'll make sure I have that line. That crease line has to be on a straight line. So you can see it now is on a straight line at that point. So you can also take the measurement of what you have at that point. Okay. So that when you are ironing the other side of the front, they, they will be equal. So there I have eight inches. So on the other side of the front piece, I'll also ensure I have the same figure at that point. So the eight inches varies depending on your measurement. So I'm ironing from one point now, that is the shoulder on the other part, to the back hem right now. So now I'm done. So you can see my crease line which I made right now. So I made this crease line at the wrong side of this dress. So after making that crease line, you can see what we have. So the crease line is going to serve as a guide. That is why we have to make the line. It's going to serve as a guide. So just open it up on the wrong side as you can see me do now. So you can see the crease line is actually showing. If you look well, you see it's actually showing. So I cut two pieces of my hair stay. So this hair stay with the width, the length is 34 which I measured from my waistline, two times of my waistline, okay? So I made, I cut out 34, and the width of it is 6 inches, if you remember. So I'll place it on fold and place it on the shoulder line. So I'm placing the rough side, this, the sticky part of it, on the shoulder line, and then allow it to run on the crease line. So the center of it, you can fold it this way to be sure it's on the crease line. So that is exactly what I'm doing there. Make sure it's on the crease line like that. So after you've made sure, sure of that, now open it and give it a good press. So I'll just press it down right now. So here I've pressed it down. So that part is the part that we are going to form our pleat. So we need Heste to make it stand. So now I'll turn it back to the front piece again. The, that is the right side of the fabric. Then at that right side of the fabric on the shoulder line as well, I'll place my take tape and retake my measurement from 2.5. I'll measure my shoulder divide by 2, which is 7.5. Then from that 7.5, I'll measure the pleating allowance of 6 inches then i'll find the mid point so that mid point that is where i'm going to pick right now on that mid point i'll pick it like this to form that pleat so i'll also go over on my ironing table but first of all i'm going to secure it with my pins so i'll pin in a way i can stitch as well so then I'll go over to the ironing table and press it down. So here I've pressed it down and I've pinned and I've also taken my measurement from the shoulder line. Okay, so from that shoulder line, I took my measurement of 17 inches just like I did before. So, but I want to make sure that I have this on the right line by taking my measurement of my shoulder divided by 2. Then what should remain should be 3 inches. So I'm just cross-checking. I'm correct. I have it exactly at 3 inches, which is the pleating that we are going to make. So from this point, I'm going to measure my waist. My waistline at 17. And make sure I have 3, 3 inches uh, pleats, making sure they are equal. So I secure them with my pin in a way I can stitch on them. So from the other shoulder, measure your waistline again. And make sure, rule a straight line on it and make sure we have it at 3 inches. So on the straight line, I'm going to the machine now to sew on the chalk line. Okay. So I will start from one end now to the other. So here on my machine, I'm starting from the end of my waistline on one side. And I'll follow the chalk line. I'm going to stitch straight until I get to the other part of the waistline. 
So once I get to the other part of the waistline, I'm going to backstitch at that point. So I'll just continue stitching until I get to the other part of the waistline where I have my pin. So at the termination point where I marked, I pinned, I'm going to backstitch right now. So after backstitching, um, I'll also take it to the ironing table and give it a good press. So this time around, I'll be using my steam to make sure that I have it relaxed appropriately. So here, I'm relaxing the pleats and giving it a good press. So you can see, I will keep making the ironing it to the waistline. So the part that we stopped our stitching, so that is what, where I'm going to stop the ironing. So I will keep ironing right now till I make sure the pleat is looking fine and beautiful. So here is my pleat and you can see it's looking beautiful as well. So I continued ironing from the shoulder to the other side of the waistline as well. So I made sure I gave it a good press as you can see. So now this is my pleat and this is how it's going to look when the sleeve is out of it. So we are done with that part. So the next part we want to go into now is to take the measurement of the strip. So you have to put your neckline from the shoulder seam line where I notched, just put them together and they arrange it very well. So I've put it together, even I secured it with my pin as well. Make a notch at the center back because that is where we are going to attach our collar. So I'm going to take my measurement from that center back right now. I'll take my time and take the measurement. So make sure you take it accordingly. So you'll be able to have your exact measurement. So from that center back, I'm taking my measurement to the hem. And at the hem right now, I have exhausted my tape. I have 60 inches. Then I'll bring the other part of the tape and I measure 64 inches. So I have 64 inches. I'll multiply it by two because I placed that part on fold. Here I have 120 in 28 inches. So this 128 inches, I'm going to also cut my fabric. I cut it into two, 65, 65. I added one, one inch, okay? So I, you can see the width is six inches. So I stitched that center part together, okay? So when I place it on fold, I have three inches. So I'm going to, from that folded part now, I'm going to open up the strip. But before I do that, I'm retaking the measurements. I have 64 inches, but actually I added about 2 inches to it. Okay, I added, I like to add extra. If I have excess, I'll cut it off. So it's better for me that way than to have a shortage. So I'll open up from that center back. You can see how I'm, I'm opening it up. So I'm going to secure with my pin. So from the center back, which I stitched, I'll measure, I'm going to measure 13 and a half inches. So mark at 13 inches or 13 and a half, depending on how open you want your neckline to be. So I'm going to chalk that the center front. Where we'll, the center part, sorry, where we have the crease line, I'll chop it, chalk it up to the slit line. So from the hem, I'm going to measure my slit at 22 inches. So at 22 inches, I'm going to chalk my line. So from that point, I'm going to chalk. So the part I chalked is the part I'm going to stitch. So I'll go over to the machine now and I'm going to stitch from that 13 and a half inches i'm going to i'm securing it with my pin so that it will be easy for me to stitch it when i get to my machine so i'm going to stitch right now as you can see from that point to the neckline 
so here you can see i've stitched and i'm going to turn it around so i want you to watch how i'm turning that part so i'm going to fold it in like this that will be the neckline and then you can see the neckline so i'll fold it and this is the slit okay so that strip is ready now so i'm going to pick it up on the notch area of the center back and i'm going to match it with the center back of the strip where i stitched so i'll place it right side to right side and i'm going to secure with my pin all around so i'll secure with my pin and i'll be going over to the machine now to stitch at 0 0.5 inches so stitching at 0 0.5 inches right now once i'm done pinning it will be easy for me to go over to my machine and stitch right on top of my pins at 0 0.5 inches so i'll secure from the center back to the hem on the other side and i'll do the same on the other side so here i have stitched and you can see my neckline so that is my neckline and here you can see my slit as well so you can see the SS I told you I added. I love to add SS to my measurements. If I have SS, it's easier to cut it off than to have a shortage. So that is what I'm cutting off right now. So after cutting off that part, we are done. So the belt is ready too. So the belt length is at 42 inches. Okay, so I made it at 42 inches. And the belt width is 6 inches. So when I place it on fold, I have 3 inches. So I'm going to sew the belt. Normally, you close one side and open the other side. So the belt is ready, as you can see. I also gave it a good press. So the part that is open right now, I'm going to my weaving machine to weave it. So here I've weaved it. And that is what we are going to use to tighten the waistline. So I'll just come over to the waistline where I stop my pleating stitches and I'm going to place the belt right on top of the stitches like that. And I'll secure it with my pin in a way I can stitch on top of it when I get to the machine. So after securing it with my pin right now, I will turn it to the right side. So if you turn it to the right side, you will be following the stitches of the pleats. You can see the stitches of the pleat. Just follow exactly and top stitch everything together so it looks nice and, nice and beautiful. So I've done that as you can see. So I'll repeat the same process on the other side. So here is my belt which I'll use to tighten my waist. That is if you want to tighten your waist when you wear this dress. You can also wear it as a free dress as well. So here I've hemmed the sleeve line. So make sure you weave and hem the sleeve line before you sew the side. So I'll go over to the machine now. I'm going to close off from the sleeve to the hem following the cow shape. So I've done that right now. So I'm going to, you can see the curve area. So I'll just make a notch on the curve area of the sleeve and on the cow part too. So it will be easy for you for it to relax on the body so here you can see our dress is very ready and beautiful so i believe you learned a lot from this class okay i also hemmed the down part of this dress so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you